James 4 continues with themes that we know are true and good and pure and according to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. James is showing us wisdom to live as Christians in this world, not following the devil, the world or the flesh, but living this new life that we have in Jesus Christ with the word implanted in us, as James says in James 1. He deals with with the issue in chapter 4 of quarrels and fights. And that's exactly what the Apostle Paul deals with in Corinthians. It's what Peter deals with in his second letter. John speaks of false prophets and divisions and troubles and the need for us to have true faith reflected in this new life in the Spirit. So James is the same as the Apostles here. And he is speaking of grace God giving grace, that is what the gospel is about, not because we do works and we earn our salvation, but God gives grace to the humble, verse 6, he opposes the proud, and therefore submit yourself to God, just like Jesus preached the good news of the kingdom of heaven was to repent and believe. Uh, we submit, we resist the devil, as Jesus said, in giving us the Lord's prayer, deliver us from the evil one. Draw near to God. And Jesus even says in Matthew, Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I shall give you rest. The focus is on God as our Savior, not we are saving ourselves. It says, Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your heart. So there's repentance as Jesus called us to repent and to mourn for our sins, to have a real change, to humble ourselves. Just like Peter says, humble yourselves before the almighty hand of God in 1 Peter 3. So too, James is just saying the same thing here. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will exalt you. There is a oneness in that early church and in the scripture that we have. Uh, James is not doing anything different. Uh, he's calling us to be uh, doers of, of God's, God's law the lawgiver and Christ stood up for this law, but Christ brings it into himself in perfect, uh, in the perfect uh, law given to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. And then he says the, against the sin of boasting about tomorrow. And so there is a sense that connects back to Matthew 2. Matthew says, you know, don't be anxious. Uh, don't be anxious for these things. God knows what you need and, and to live uh, in the day that we have, not boasting about great things we can do, but trusting in God. So it's all about faith, humility, grace, these glorious things of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen.